In this video, we talk about the rich versus the poor. So one of the things that rich people do that the poor do not is the rich invest money when the poor don't really invest money. The poor actually spend money. So that's why you see rich people get richer and the poor get poorer. Why? Because when you're investing, you're actually making money work hard for you. When you're spending, you're actually creating a liability. In fact, a lot of people, especially here in the UK, they get into a lot of debt. The difference between good debt and bad debt is huge. So good debt is that something that increases and pays back, whereas bad Bad debt, you'll never see it back. For example, like a lot of people think that their house is actually an asset, their house is actually a liability because it takes money from their pocket. You want to start looking at things to invest in, things where you can actually grow your money instead of things that take your money and don't produce a ROI, which stands for return on investment. Also, what rich people do is they educate themselves on financial education, whereas poor people do not. So if you look at all the rich people in the world, and especially a lot of my friends who are multi, multi, multi millionaires, they know a lot about taxes, they know a lot about setting up companies, they know a lot about starting companies. They know a lot about how to increase profit and to increase revenue. Whereas if you look at a lot of people who are poor, they don't have that financial literacy. You know, they may be intelligent, but intelligence doesn't equal wealth. One of the things you want to focus on is start educating yourself on financial literacy. Start getting good at analyzing property deals. Start getting good at running ads and, and measuring the ROI and the cost per click, cost per, cost per lead and lifetime value of your customer. And that's why rich people get richer because they hang around people who are making the money work hard for them and therefore growing their wealth. The rich read books and the poor watch mindless TV. Meaning if you want to get yourself to the next level, you have to upskill yourself. You need to take your brain to the next level. You know, the best thing that's going to give you the best ROI is what's in here. So we must always focus on what's giving us the best ROI. What's what's producing the most income for us. And to do that, we have to upskill ourselves. The question is, do you have a high income skill or do you have a low income skill? A lot of people have a low income skill and therefore they're not able to earn more. That's why, again, the rich get richer because they're always reading books. If you look at Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett spends 70 eight hours a day analyzing companies because he's an investor. He's, and if you don't know who Warren Buffett is, he's one of the first richest men in the world. He's analyzing stock on what's going to increase in value. And I think a lot of people, they don't really spend a lot of time analyzing companies. You know, they spend more time watching Game of Thrones and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, it's okay to have that, but you gotta look at how much time you're spending. If you're spending like 95% of your time, that's probably not good. You might want to spend 70% of your time reading, learning, reading autobiographies. That's one of the things I learned from Steve Jobs autobiography is creating something Something that's great, something that's gonna make an impact to the universe or a dent in the universe. And that's what you wanna always focus on. You know, if you're just watching TV, you just, you just become a consumer. Consumers spend money, creators make money. Also, what you'll find is the rich kind of pave their own path, whereas the poor, they do what everybody else is doing. It's the classic example of when someone gets into the car and says, you know, says to the taxi driver, hey, what stock should I invest in? Unfortunately, by that time, it's already too late. You wanna get in before, you wanna get in where, you know, you've paved the way directly to the CEO. So the CEO's got information that's going to make a huge impact to investment. There may be some things that they are doing and some things, you know, they can tell you about the company. Obviously, if you, if you know these people, you, you know what's being created and that's going to give you an edge. And that's what we're looking for, we're looking for the edge. So don't want to, don't do what everybody else is doing. You want to do, you know, pave your own way. And sometimes it may not make sense, but I promise you over time, it will make sense. Look at Steve Jobs. When Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak started Apple, you know, Steve Wozniak said to, to, said to Steve Jobs, you know, no one's going to want this. And then Steve Jobs replies, how do people know what they want if they've never even seen it before? Which is so true. This is why I want all of you who are watching this right now to make sure that you're not just going where everybody else is going, you're paving your own way. Okay, number five, the five are committed to being rich. The poor want to be rich. So there's a difference between wanting and burning desire wanting. It's, it's two different things. For example, you know, my goal to take my company to a billion dollar valuation in the next 10 years. You know, that's my goal. That's what I want to do for the company. So every single day I wake up, every single day my focus is on the company. How do we take it to the next level? Whereas, you know, some people say, you know what? I really want to do that. They don't take action and they'll spend more time going clubbing or going out on a weekend or going, you know, drinking. They're not spending time on on their business or them. 10 years ago, I thought to myself, you know, I wonder if one day I'll make enough to, to be able to make an impact. And, you know, just recently I was featured in Forbes, you know, who would have thought that? And if you haven't read the article, by the way, go to Google chat, type in John Lee Forbes, and you can actually read, read my whole feature in there. When we listed our company, but a lot of people go, well, John, how do you take it to the next level? And it's, it's working every single day. Well, a lot of people don't realize, especially for, for those of you watching with shareholders, like Vince and I work our asses off taking this company to the next level. You know, it's, it's doing whatever it takes, working every single hour, working every single waking hour, every single weekend to make it happen. I know some of you watching this may 
disagree with that and you have this work-life balance well how about work-life integration that's what it takes you know sometimes you're working 20 hour days sometimes you don't even sleep and unfortunately that's the journey of an entrepreneur doing things back to back sometimes i mean i can tell you this year i've not even taken a holiday this year it's insane I've been working flat out, you know, especially during the whole COVID situation. You think, well, John, you're so wealthy. Like, why don't you, like, I choose not to. That's the great thing about having enough, you know, financial security is that you get to do what you want to do. And this is my purpose. And for those of you who supported our journey, I want to thank you for supporting our journey. Thank you, you know, for believing in our vision. And, you know, although sometimes it's not instant, guess what? I promise you at the end of it, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but you just got to trust the process. It's almost like, I forget who that guy was, um, you know, one of the Apple shareholders who, you know, he was, he was, he was investing in Apple and then sold his shares for $800. If he'd, if he'd have waited it out 20 years, you know, that $800 would have turned into billions, which is actually quite insane. It's, it's all about being patient and it's not expected to get rich quick because nothing ever like the faster you make money the faster you lose it so i really hope that you you can see the difference now between the rich and poor all right and if you like this by the way do me a favor hit that like button and it'll help us out on the algorithm and it'll also show you more of our videos and if you want to see more of our videos hit the subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on the new videos and i'd like to ask you what other traits do you think make people rich versus the poor i want you to leave a comment below and i'll, I'll I'd love to hear your comments and um, yeah, reply to them. This is John Lee, the author of Business Hack. Bye for now.